Hey guys, Tyler here. About a year ago, I made some videos on a game called Bots Are Stupid. The full version of the game came out today. So thank you to the publishers at Yogscast Games for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out the full version of the game, check out the link in the description below. This is a programming puzzle game about getting my robot all the way to the goal over here. And you have to do that by input in instructions like move right. And then if I have it move right, you can see the platforms move. All right, so I have to get him to parkour through this course. Thankfully, I have a grappling hook. So I could wait half a second, jump, wait a, another few seconds, hook up. Let's just see what this looks like. Well, I get a little bit further. Uh, no, no thanks to the hook. But the idea is you have to be constantly optimizing your code try to actually get something that works and eventually compete on a high score leaderboard of least lines of code, fastest time to get to the goal. I'm gonna just do a couple jumps, see where that gets me. So there I go. Oh, to the goal. Oh, no. I have to actually reach this checkpoint up here. Clearly, I missed it. I was close, though. Let me tell you that. Look at that. Just barely missed it. I wonder if I just wait less before jumping. It might work. Yep. Beautiful. Jumping got me through that level. I think I'll have to actually use my grappling hook this time, and that's where me having not played this in a year is gonna bite me in the butt. Move left. Wait, maybe like point two. Hook up left. Let's just see where that gets me. Oh, what the heck is that? That's a launching platform. Maybe I won't hook. I'll just wait point two and then I'll jump. Oh, <laughs> look at that speed. All right, let's wait a little bit longer. Maybe a cool like point three. There we go. So I jump, then I gotta wait a bit. Let's just try 0.4 right now. Hook up right and see if that gets me anywhere close. Yeah, kinda. I've gotta launch into that checkpoint up there. So wait, let's say like 0.1 unhook and see where that launches me. There we go, I fixed my problem. Now I've just gotta actually make it to the goal. And what if I go like 0.4 and then move right? What does that look like? Yeah, I, see how I changed directions midair? Now I just need to get the timing right. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I land on the platform too. Wait until grounded. Stop. Wait maybe half a second. Move right and jump. Hey, absolutely crushed it. Take on another level. They just get bigger and bigger. I can move right, wait a little bit, wait until grounded, because I want to wait until I'm actually on the bigger, lower platforms, and then I'll jump and I'll see where this gets me. Right there, perfect. Squish. Okay, then wait two and a half seconds, jump again, maybe hook up left to see if I could loop around. I don't know if I have the speed for that though. No, I don't have the speed. I think I just have to actually wait. I have to wait a whole like five seconds, then move left and jump. And even that might not get me anywhere. Hey, that gets me all the way to the other side. Wait for another, maybe let's go four this time. Move right, jump. Let's not wait that long. No! <laughs> uh, I was thinking I could wait another three seconds and then hook up left. Basically just kind of save myself from flying off the screen. Hey, there we go. Mixing up now with a different world. There's a really weird yellow line. Hang gliding or something, zip lining. Move left, jump, wait, point two, hook up left. And then what happens? Okay, maybe don't jump. Yeah, okay. It seems like it works like that. It's just this, as soon as I touch the ground, it lets go. So I'm gonna wait maybe like 0.6. Oh, that's so cool. That's a speedy boy. All right, more zip lines. That's fun. I got two checkpoints to hit. So I imagine there's a launch pad right to my left. Oh, that's, yeah, okay, that's the launch pad. Interesting. I was gonna wait maybe 0.8 and then move right. There we go. Then using this game's very careful step-by system, I can figure out wait 0.7 and then move left, but this should be just enough to hit that, then 
Oh, hit the tiny thing of spikes up there. What the hell is that about? Okay, I'm gonna try a tactic called waiting longer then to avoid those spikes. There we go. Much better. Now I want a zip line. So I'll wait for a full 1.2 hook up left. Take a look. 6.8 is what I'd want to let go. I launched the hook at 3.8. So that's a whole three seconds. Wait three on hook and probably just fly right into the goal. Oh, but I gotta unhook and then move right. I could probably stay hooked for a bit less longer. That's the ticket. Pretty fast, pretty efficient. It's just how I like it. This is just asking for the perfect trajectory to get set up. So you move left, maybe wait 0.6 seconds, hook left. And let's see where that takes me. Oh God, look at that whip. So now it's all about timing. Long release like 1.75. So I could wait 1.05 and then unhook and see if that gets anywhere close. Good lord, that speed though. What if I try waiting a while, and I mean a damn while before hooking? What if I wait a whole 1.6 seconds? Ah, that might be something. And I could wait way less before unhooking. Oh, almost the perfect trajectory. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. Now I've just got to figure out when to move right. I'm looking good. Probably now. So it's at about 3.8 seconds. You just take 3.8 and subtract these two. I mean, that gets me about 1.9-ish. And then move right. Absolutely gorgeous. That's a fast speed. That's a low number of lines. And that's dopamine for my brain. There's even another world where you're on the moon. Although this is kind of weird. Uh, it looks like I'm trapped in some sort of cage. No, it's a portal. So I see, I've got to get uh, the checkpoint on each of the sides, then come back to the center. Well, that's cute. So it's basically two puzzles at once. I'm gonna actually go left first. I like that more. I just want to wait to see how long it takes to get to the jump pad. I could probably change direction here. Maybe the cool three seconds. Three, move right. Where's that? Leave me. Right there. Wait until grounded, jump. It looks like it's actually gonna miss a bit. I'll wait a little longer before moving right just so it hugs the wall for a little. Yeah, it's beautiful. Then I think there's a command that says wait until boosted and then move left. That way I can at least dodge the spikes. I could maybe wait 0.2, move right and see where that gets me. Well, it gets me through. I guess I should probably be going faster, huh? Like launch myself through the portals. So I'm gonna try to do something cheeky here. I can move left, wait like 0 0.05, hook left so I could generate some momentum. I almost wanna swing myself through the level. Maybe wait 0.2, hook down right. And this is gonna have to be tweaked, but I wanna hook around this small thing. Wait, maybe if I have the S.1, unhook and then just launch and tweak it as we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a pretty beautiful launch. Just the second one does not connect. So I actually launch it at 6.095 seconds, but I could wait until maybe like 6.2 seconds. Or what I could do is just throw on another hundredth of a second on that wait. I think I will wait a little longer here. Let's go 0.4. Tweaking multiple things at once is dangerous. There's not much to say. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this. I just needed to release at the right time. Probably right here. 6.435. And I hook at 6.205. So I gotta wait 0 0.23. And then I'll have the perfect unhook. Oh, I hit the top. That means I gotta unhook a little earlier. I wonder if I could maintain my speed. Am I in the air when I'm in the main hub? I'm kind of in the air. I'm in the air here. I wanna see if I can get a cheeky hook right now. I might just try to enter the portal at a more shallow angle, which would mean changing a lot, unfortunately, which means I go back to 0 0.1 and then I find a better time to hook here. So now, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. It's longer and it stills at speed. So it's gonna come in flatter. If anything, 
Is it possible to maybe wait even a touch longer so I could even be farther away from this block? Like, I almost want to shoot out horizontally. I mean, that's gorgeous right there. I just got to wait way longer before unhooking now. Wait like a whole point. Let's go 4-3 for no reason. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Look at how I'm flying through it here. I can actually hook after I go through this portal at 7.2. So let's see, when did I do that last command? 6.6. .6. So I could wait 0.6, I guess. Let's go 5-8 to just decrease it a little. Hook up right. Because I want to basically just keep my speed as I launch through this and then get the checkpoint. I don't know how doable that is, but I want it. And this is just going to be a very corrective hook. So I'll wait maybe... Well, I got to wait for the hook to actually touch and then I only want to be connected for a very short while before I unhook, which ideally should send me launching here. Then I can wait another 0.1 hook up left. I have to keep scrolling down. So many lines. This is long code. Wait, 0.2. And again, I'm just guessing. Let's go 0.3 here. Unhook and let's see what I need to tweak. Okay, so it looks like I did the second hook way too soon and I let go a little too late. So I hook at 7.235. I should unhook around 7.358. I'm really close to that. I think I just need to fix the weight. So this could be 0 0.14. This could be a longer weight. Maybe we could go 0 0.35. It worked decently. It feels like I'm losing a little speed here. Yeah, look at this. It's speed and then slowing down instantly. I think I need to hook while I'm still going up. I wonder if I should unhook a little bit sooner from the previous thing. So I almost get a more horizontal launch. If I unhook, I need to move left immediately. Let me just see if that makes a difference. It actually does still launch me, so I guess that is part of it. I feel like as soon as I let go, I could actually probably hook up left or wait just a little bit. We can like wait 0 0.05 hook up left just to make sure I kind of keep going horizontal here. I think I'm losing speed, so I'm going to start doing something where I maybe wait 0 0.14 midair, wait until grounded, move right, and then jump. It just seems like I'm gonna need to go against the last treadmill, but it's the last one and I carried a decent amount of momentum, so I'm still decently proud of it. Whoa, okay, I ground myself way sooner than I expected. I bet I could do a couple things, so I bet I could wait before hooking. I could bet I could wait way longer before unhooking. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm sure it could be a little cleaner, but that's exactly what I wanted out of this. I could wait a little bit less before unhooking. Zero or five, unhook, wait until grounded, move right, jump, wait until grounded again, then jump. And actually, I could do something a little cheeky here. I could actually unhook, move right first. Then I could actually get rid of the duplicate code. I had to double check this because it's been a while. What I can do is a repeat, we'll say three, and it'll repeat everything between that and repeat end. I have to wait until grounded before moving right. Well, I mean, I could add in a wait until grounded. Yeah, it's beautiful. So then wait until grounded, move left, jump. And then I see a little moving platform. Wait until... Oh, you can change a few things. You have much more sophisticated code than I remember. You can wait until hooked. You can wait until falling. You can wait until orb pickup. You can wait until not. I'll see if wait until boosted works at all. Then I can move right. That's not boosted. It's at 11.4 this command starts. Then I want to start jumping and moving right. About like 2.1 seconds afterwards. Beautiful. Oh, you can hang out up here. Well, look at him. Let's not do that. Because what I could do now is wait until orb pickup using a little bit more of the code. Then I could just make sure I fall in the right place. Move left. This is going to have to be time-based though. Go like 0 0.1 and then move right. Wait, by the guess, maybe 0 0.4, move left. Almost feels like I have a little too much speed. I wonder if I'd be better off, like, not jumping. Because I hit my head in the ceiling here. Let's try getting rid of the jump. But now that doesn't quite get the height. But what I could do is wait a little bit longer before moving right. So at least I would fly off the platform a bit later. Closer. All right. I think I might just want to hook left to launch myself up a bit. So I start moving right here. 13.53-ish. I could hook now. So wait about 0.31. Hook up left. Wait until hooked. Wait 0, 0.0 like 2. Ah, that's beautiful. Okay, so now I'm actually just going to have it wait like 
four before moving left just to see what the arc looks like and if I can happen to fall down here or if I'll need to hook to just cleanly fall through. Okay, so I will want to hook from here at 15.27, which is about 1.4-ish after the previous command. So 1.4, hook up right, wait until hooked, wait like 0.05, unhook. Then I'm gonna keep falling a bit, wait 0.7 or something and move left and I'll tweak it as I go. That's the stuff. I could probably hook for way less long. 0.01 while hooked, like a very short hook. Let's try 0.2 before moving left. There we go. I could probably even do that sooner. I move left around 15.48. It's about a second on the belt, a little bit over. I could do a bit more tweaking. Let's go 0.18 before moving left and then wait a second. Move right, wait maybe about a second again. Move left and then I'll be launching off the belt into the goal and hopefully winning. Uh, it's not perfect. He hugs the corners. Good God, that was tough. <laughs> At least I beat the only other person who played this by a factor of four. Well, that was a challenging level. If you think you can beat my score, go download the game yourself. Link is in the description. Thank you again to Yogg's Cast Games for the sponsorship. It's a great game. If there's enough interest, I could return to optimizing. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.